Picture a land where the wild beauty of the Serengeti meets the tropical serenity of Zanzibar. Welcome to Tanzania, a gem tucked in the eastern corner of the African continent. This captivating country is a cocktail of diverse landscapes, from the snowy peaks of Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa, to the sun-kissed beaches of Zanzibar, and the rolling plains of the Serengeti, the continent's most iconic wildlife park. Tanzania's climate is as diverse as its scenery, with tropical coastal weather, temperate highlands, and arid zones. It's a country that's equally rich in culture as it's in natural beauty, with over 120 ethnic groups calling it home. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie, a wildlife enthusiast, a culture vulture, or a beach bum, Tanzania has something for you. Ready to embark on a Tanzanian adventure? Buckle up, because we're just getting started. First stop, the Serengeti, a name that echoes with the heartbeat of Africa's wildlife. Stretching across nearly 12,000 square miles of sun-drenched plains, the Serengeti National Park is a jewel in the crown of Tanzania's natural wonders. Its name, derived from the Maasai language, means endless plains, and it certainly lives up to this moniker. The vast landscape is a tapestry of savanna, riverine forest, and woodlands, providing a diverse habitat for an astounding array of wildlife. The Serengeti is not just a park, it's a stage for one of the most spectacular wildlife dramas on Earth, the Great Migration. Every year, over two million wildebeest, zebras, and gazelles traverse the plains in search of fresh grazing grounds, creating a moving spectacle of life, struggle, and survival. It's a dance choreographed by the rhythms of nature, and the Serengeti is its grandest stage. The park is home to the largest concentration of plain animals in the world. Here you'll find the Big Five, lion, leopard, rhinoceros, elephant, and buffalo, sharing the terrain with hundreds of bird species and countless other creatures. From the stealthy cheetah to the towering giraffe, the Serengeti's animal kingdom is a wildlife lover's paradise. Timing your visit can be key to experiencing the best of the Serengeti. The dry season, from late June to October, is the best time for wildlife viewing as animals gather around water sources. If you're keen on witnessing the Great Migration, plan your visit between December and July. But remember, the Serengeti's magic is not confined to seasons. Each month brings its own unique charm and drama. Whether you're exploring the park on a guided safari, floating above the plains in a hot air balloon, or camping under the star-studded African night sky, the Serengeti offers an immersive and unforgettable wildlife experience. In the heart of the wild, the Serengeti is a testament to nature's grandeur and power. From the wild plains, we ascend to the heights of Africa, to the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro. A majestic sentinel of Tanzania, Kilimanjaro is not just the tallest mountain in Africa, but also the highest freestanding mountain in the world. It towers over the landscape, reaching a staggering 19,341 feet into the sky. The journey to reach the summit of Kilimanjaro isn't just a hike, it's a pilgrimage through five distinct climatic zones. Starting from the cultivated lower slopes, climbers traverse lush rainforests filled with colobus monkeys and vibrant bird life. The forest gradually gives way to the moorland zone, a world of heathers and wildflowers. As you climb higher, you enter the Alpine Desert, a stark lunar landscape that stretches out in a seemingly endless expanse. The final zone, the Arctic summit, is a world of ice and snow, a stark contrast to the tropical zones below. There are several routes to take, each with its own unique challenges and vistas. The Meringue route, known as the Coca-Cola route, is the oldest and most well-trodden. But there's also the Machame route, dubbed the Whiskey route, which is longer but offers more acclimatization time and scenic variety. Reaching the summit of Kilimanjaro is an experience like no other. As the sun rises over the African plains, the view from the top is nothing short of breathtaking. The sense of achievement that washes over you as you stand at the peak, looking out over the landscape below, is something that stays with you forever. Trekking Kilimanjaro is not just about conquering a mountain, it's about pushing your limits, testing your resolve, and proving to yourself what you're truly capable of. It's about the camaraderie you build with your fellow climbers, 
the memories you make, and the stories you'll have to tell. Mount Kilimanjaro, a towering symbol of adventure, stands as a challenge and an invitation. It beckons the brave, the curious, the adventurers. Will you answer its call? Leaving the mountains behind, we descend to the spice-scented lanes of Zanzibar. A tapestry of cultures, Zanzibar is an island that has been shaped by centuries of trade and migration. The influence of Arabian, Persian, Indian, and European cultures is evident in every corner of this island, creating an intriguing blend that is uniquely Zanzibari. One of the most compelling aspects of Zanzibar's cultural scene is its rich history. Stone Town, the historic heart of Zanzibar City, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a labyrinth of narrow alleys lined with ornate houses, bustling bazaars, and mosques with intricately carved doors. Each turn reveals a new site, a new scent, a new sound, creating a sensory experience that is as much a journey through time as it is through space. But Zanzibar is not just about history. Its beaches are the stuff of dreams. Picture this, powdery white sand, crystal clear waters, and swaying palm trees. The beaches are a paradise, where the only thing you need to worry about is deciding whether to soak up the sun or dive into the azure ocean. And then, there are the spice tours. Zanzibar is often referred to as the spice island for good reason. Its fertile soil produces a bounty of spices like cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Exploring a spice farm is like stepping into a living spice cabinet, where you can see, touch, and taste the ingredients that have shaped the island's cuisine and culture. As the sun sets, the island comes alive with vibrant night markets. The sound of laughter mingles with the sizzle of grills as vendors serve up a mouth-watering array of seafood and local dishes. It's a feast for the senses, where every bite tells a story of Zanzibar's culinary heritage. Zanzibar, a place where history whispers and the sea sings, is a paradise like no other. Now that you've had a glimpse of Tanzania's wonders, it's time to plan your own adventure. So, when should you pack your bags for this East African paradise? Well, the best time to visit Tanzania really depends on what you want to experience. If you're eager to witness the Great Migration in the Serengeti, consider visiting between June and October. For those of you hoping to conquer Mount Kilimanjaro, the driest months of January, February and September are your best bet. And Zanzibar? Its turquoise waters and white sands are welcoming all year round. Now, let's talk about logistics. For many nationalities, a visa is required to enter Tanzania. It can be obtained on arrival for $50, but to avoid potential hassles, it's advisable to secure it in advance from a Tanzanian embassy or consulate in your home country. Health is wealth, as they say, and this is especially true when traveling. Make sure to consult with your healthcare provider about recommended vaccinations. Malaria is a risk in Tanzania, so it's essential to take precautions, such as using mosquito repellent and taking anti-malarial medication. When it comes to crafting your itinerary, the world, or in this case Tanzania, is your oyster. Start with the Serengeti for an unforgettable safari, then head to Kilimanjaro for a trek of a lifetime. Round off your trip with a cultural immersion in Zanzibar. Remember, every journey is unique, so tailor your trip to suit your interests and pace. Finally, as you embark on this adventure, let's not forget the importance of respecting local cultures and the environment. Learn a few words in Swahili, dress modestly and leave no trace. These small actions can make a big difference. Tanzania awaits, with its wild heart and soulful beauty, ready to etch unforgettable memories into the canvas of your travels.